Christmas memories. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. I just want to say I cannot believe that I have come this far. This is the first year in like the past four years that I've tried to do Vlogmas that I upload consistently. So yay me. Today is day 18 you guys. Day 17 was it not the cutest. It was so freaking cute. But today's plans are i am at the studio if you guys can see i have four makeup appointments what was originally supposed to be two appointments turned into four which i'm all grateful for i'm so happy that i have clients and that people are willing to come to me and stuff so i'm so 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 happy and grateful that you know people choose me to fix them up and stuff to enhance their beauty not fix them up to enhance their beauty um, it is 11 40 right now and I decided to come early so that I could edit this video real quick because I won't have time to do it if I wait to do it from the house and from the house I mean like I don't know if you guys can tell the videos that I edit on my iPad and the ones that I edit on my computer are kind of are very very different they're not all the same just because I do um, use different softwares here at the office, I use Final Cut and on my iPad I only have um, iMovie. So the process is a little bit different. The kind of like effects and stuff like that, the sounds I can give you are very different. At least I'm still able to edit from home and get these videos up for you guys regardless. So. I don't know how much of my day I'm going to show you guys or share with you guys today because it is going to be a long day for me and like I said in between clients I don't really like like it's bad enough that I take their before and afters well their befores their afters they're like more than a hundred percent always like yes take my picture because they love the way that they look but I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going to edit this video and then I'm going to do my makeup really quick just because I don't want to look scary for them they're like you're the makeup artist and you look like that what's going on so i'm just gonna fix myself up real quick this video is going to take a left turn and we're going to make it into a how could i call it like a kind of like a get to know me because i do have more subscribers than when i started a while ago and I feel like a lot of you guys don't know my story or like fully who I am and stuff. So we're going to share that today while I do my makeup. So I guess first things first, I am 30 years old. I'm shaving my eyebrow pencil right now. So that's, that's what I'm doing. But I'm 30 years old. I turned 30 June 11th. I have been married to my high school sweetheart going on... 14 years well we've been together going on 15 but we've been married for 12 right we got married in 2011 yeah this year we're going on 12 years of being married you guys which is crazy because before that we were already together for three years prior to uh like getting married so you could say that I pretty much finished growing up with this guy. Um, we've been together for the longest. We've literally been through hell and back. Yet here we are. Um, we are a couple that you could literally say like we've hit rock bottom and we've managed to like get ourselves out of the hole. We do have two beautiful kids together. <laughs> We have a six-year-old and we also have an angel baby who's about to turn three in June as well. So <clears throat> my birthday is June 11th. Our second little girl's birthday is June 15th. Our anniversary is June 17th. And then my husband's birthday is June 25th. So everything falls like in June and then her name was Lucia Alice. Our daughter's name is Grecia Giselle. She's about to turn six on the 27th. So in a couple days, we're gonna have a six year old, which is 
completely insane because time has literally flown by it's been rough you know trying to go on with life without our second baby but we've managed so far and you know it's always going to be something that's going to you know be something that we struggle with because our family is never going to be like complete the way that we want it to be i'm still trying to cope with the loss of our baby even though it has it's going to be three years already this coming june so yeah um i said i'm 30 years old i am tall i'm a very tall girl i'm a big girl i am five eight bert is five six and a half i think so i am taller than he is if you guys haven't noticed i am taller than him i think grecia got my jeans because she's big herself like she's a very tall girl for her age um a lot of people think that she's actually older than five right now and she's barely turning six a lot of people always tell me like that she's if she's eight years old and i'm like no she's barely five like she's barely gonna turn six do i have any tattoos i do have tattoos i have one two three four tattoos right one two three four yeah four five i have five tattoos oh my gosh i have five tattoos and i'm gonna show them to you guys i have this one here that says lucia alice which is my angel baby and then i have this butterfly tattoo that has to do with her so i'll explain this tattoo real quick i got their names and this angel a month like at her month anniversary you know i was going through it and i just wanted to feel something so i went for tattoos i got grecia's first and middle name on this arm and then i got lucia's right here and then i also got so i also got this little angel if you guys can make it out it's a little angel sitting down the head the wings the booty and the legs I decided to get this tattoo because she was in the, I think it was called the CICU um, and I wasn't able to carry her like right then and there. We had to wait a couple days to be able to like hold her and stuff. And I remember the first time that they let us carry her, like I carried her on this arm and then the picture that I have of Bert carrying her also was on this arm. So I just wanted to be able to see a baby every time I looked down at my arm. I was going to have her here with me regardless if I had her or not. So that is why I decided to get it like at this placement on this arm and stuff. Oh, <laughs> um, And then um when she turned her year like when she turned a year old i went and i got this tattoo which is a butterfly with three roses and it's a purple one so if you guys don't know our story our baby girl had turner syndrome and hypoplastic left heart syndrome which basically is um let me finish doing my makeup she was born with a heart defect where half of her heart didn't form so she was born with half of a working heart and then she also had uh turner syndrome so had she not been born with turner syndrome she would have survived except she would have had to have gone through um three open heart surgeries one right after birth one when the second one when she would have been turning like three to four months and then the third surgery would have taken place uh, between the ages of two and three but because she had turner syndrome that brought her chances down of survival by almost everything so turner syndrome is what got her and i don't want to like explain what it is if you guys want to know like y'all can go ahead and google it but basically we only had her for nine days and babies with turner syndrome they call them butterflies so that is the meaning behind the butterfly and then like the awareness color is purple 
so that's why there's a purple butterfly and then the roses are her birth it's her birth flower my birth flower and her dad's birth flower since we we're all born in june um another little like fun fact my dad and her share a birthday so my dad was born june 15 1951 Lucia was born June 15th, 2020. Lucia passed away 2020 um, on the 24th. My dad passed away the following year on the 23rd of June as well. So, and those two dates fall right before Bert's birthday. So, it's like a crazy month for us now. Like, I honestly, I hate it, but it is what it is um so the three roses are for me her dad and grecia and of course the butterfly stands for her so those are my tattoos oh and then <clears throat> i'm missing one tattoo i also have this tattoo that i got when did i get this i've had it for like a year now but it's basically little animals so I have a rooster, a teddy bear, a kitty cat, and a baby chick. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is my tattoo. I've gotten several questions about it, and I will tell you guys what the meaning behind this tattoo is. So my mom, my sister and I had been wanting to get matching tattoos for the longest time, like the longest time. My sister doesn't live in town or like near us anymore. Um... And she came down one one time and she's like, hey, let's go get tattoos. I'm going to continue with my makeup because if not, I'm not going to finish. Um, she came down and she's like, let's go get tattoos. And I was like, freaking let's go. I'm down. And so we told my mom, like I set up the appointment and everything. I was like, hey, I already set the appointment. Like we have to go now. So we tell my mom. And she's like, well, what are y'all going to get? And we told her, like, well, we're going to go get matching tattoos. She's like, why are you going to get just something for the both of you? Like, why don't you get something that your brother can get as well? Mind you, we were going to get something, like, super girly like this. So we're like, my brother's not going to want to get little like animals and stuff on his body if he's like a grown man and my mom was like no you guys are not gonna get tattoos if it's not something that stands for all three all four of you she oh we were like okay so then what do you want us to get like if you want to tell us what to get then tell us and we'll go get that and she was like you're gonna get what i've always called you guys so my mom my oldest brother has a love for roosters and if you guys know my oldest brother, he's just like my dad. I think we're all a little bit like my dad. I would say, like, he's small but mighty. Like, kind of the way a rooster is. Like, you don't want to mess with the rooster because he'll come at you and, like, attack you and stuff. And that pretty much describes my oldest brother. So, don't mess with him. Um, and then my second to oldest brother has always been, like... I've always seen him as my second dad because he was always there for us and stuff. Always, you know, like help provide for us and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. I just love my brother so much. And he's always, my mom has always seen him more like a giant teddy bear. So that's where the teddy bear comes in for him. <clears throat> my sister has, she's Werita and she's very like white complected and she has blue green blue eyes like blue the bluest eyes probably like ever they change color so i don't know if i could say that she has like blue eyes or green eyes because those they change and so my mom always used to call her mi gatita so that means like my little cat in spanish right and then i'm la polla because la poita because i'm the baby in the family so i'm like the little baby chick so <clears throat> we called him and we were like hey we're gonna go get matching tattoos like get ready we're gonna go pick you up you know we're gonna go do this and he's like all right bet come come pick me up you know like we'll go we'll go get tattoos and then um he's like so what are we getting and we told him we're gonna get matching tattoos like something that stands for all four of us 
And he's like, all right, like badass, what are we gonna get? And I was like, a rooster, a teddy bear, a cat, and a baby chick. And he's like, I'm like a grown ass man and you want me to get these little tattoos. <laughs> and he was like, absolutely not. So my brother, my dad had a tattoo of a little devil on his forearm. And my brother, when my dad passed away, my brother got the exact same tattoo on his forearm. So it basically looks like the tattoo my dad has, but of course it's like brand new. And he got it in red ink. Um, and then he put, I don't remember if it says in loving, I think it says in loving memory of El Viejon in quotations because that's what everybody used to call my dad. And what my brother decided to do since he didn't want to get the the little animals he put four flames underneath the devil so each flame stands for my oldest brother my brother my sister and myself so yeah that that's the story about the tattoos and then the next question is where do you go when you're sad so before losing my daughter a place that I would go to a lot was the lake or like the boat ramp here in town. Um, just because that is where I remember like my dad always going to when he felt some type of way. I was always with my dad. Like everywhere my dad went, I was always right there behind him. So we were very close. Oh, let me ask the FedEx guy if he has my stuff. Hold on. Okay, so not my stuff i'm supposed to get my school books today if you guys have been watching my previous vlogmas videos you guys know that i am waiting on those and i have yet to receive them but they're in town they're gonna go drop them off later um what was i saying shit i forgot where i was at but what was i saying that was always a place that we would go to together and that used to be like where i would go but now um, after losing my daughter, obviously when I'm sad, I just head over to the cemetery and I spend some time there with her. And then her and my dad are actually buried together. So if I go see one, I go see the other since they're together. And you know, that's always great. What else could I tell you guys? I am the baby of my family. Well, I've never been in like a serious relationship other than with Bert, who I ended up marrying at 17. Everybody thought I was pregnant <laughs> when we decided to get married because we were both so young. Everyone thought that we were doing it because we were pregnant, but no, it took us five years to get pregnant with Grecia. And then after a while, like everybody was like, so where's your belly? Like your belly hasn't grown and i'm like well that's because we didn't get married because i was pregnant we got married because we loved each other and we wanted to get married and yet here we are and everybody who wouldn't be upset right that your kid is getting married at 17 but there was a lot of um, disgusto with my family because i was getting married so young what did i know you know if grecia came up to me and told me at 17 mom i'm getting married i would have been like the hell you are like no you're not so i understand like why everybody was freaking out but i'm glad that you know bert and i have pulled through and we've managed to overcome all of our obstacles and stuff everything that we have overcame together um and i can say Clearly that I wouldn't have wanted to go through everything that we've been through with anybody else because I Just I don't think that it would have been the same if that makes sense Like I feel like I would have had different outcomes had it been with somebody else Because Bert's a very like headstrong person and I am not so We balance each other out a lot. I don't know what else I could tell you guys my appointment my first appointment is about to get here it's 12 40 so if i think of anything else or like if you guys want to know anything else just let me know down in the comment box and yeah 
that is my everyday makeup routine literally just use powder um bronzer oh i didn't put on my favorite blush the Burt's Bees blush in toasted cinnamon absolute favorite and i just put on a little bit of concealer my bronzer powder uh, powder foundation my brows a little bit of like messy eyeliner and we call it a day and my brows i don't know if i already said that but let me start getting my workstation set up because it's about to be time we will see you guys at the end of the day probably see ya it is 7 30 and i'm barely barely going home you guys can barely see me except for my oiliness but i'm going home before that i'm going to stop at mcdonald's pick up some food for grecia and bert i have only eaten once today but what turned out to be what was supposed to be two clients slowly turned into four and then slowly turned into five so it was a very great great day my back hurts but it was very good and i'm glad that more and more people are you know starting to come to me and even if they're last minute appointments i do not care i will say yes so if you're somebody who's watching and it's literally like an hour before you're like you want to um you know get your makeup done or whatever literally call me and i will get my butt up and i will go so that you know you can get your face done and stuff but anyways i'm gonna pick up food my books got here so i'm so excited to finally finally see what um what they look like because i haven't been doing my school work because i've been waiting on these books for freaking ever so come monday i'm going to hustle hard and literally hit the books because i have not and i feel like i'm slacking so freaking much so that's what i'm gonna be doing from now on so let's pick up some food head home so that i can show you guys those in just a second 